kwamba kwetu sisi Tana River watu wetu ambao wanatuita harambe wanatuita kwa sababu ya shida kwa hivyo wewe kama ni kiongozi na si lazima uwe ni mwa, ni, ni, ni mheshimiwa kuna watu ambao ni walimu kuna watu ambao ni madaktari kuna wafanye biashara mashuhuri ambao pengine Mwenyezi Mungu amewafungulia neema zake sasa watu wakiwa na shida mtu amepata ajali mtoto yuko hospitali bibi yuko hospitali ama pengine ni ugonjwa watu hawana bima na wamezoea ya kwamba kifo kikikupata mheshimiwa bwana speaker unatafuta familia yako familia yako wanaona kwamba hiyo pesa ambao wamekusanya haitoshi na mazishi yako beigali kwa sababu lazima watu wale mwili utolewe kutoka mochari uletwe watu walale usiku kikwetu watu wanaimba nyimbo usiku mzima alafu asubuhi ndio watu wanaenda kukuzika pale kanisani sasa bwana speaker ukiniambia mimi kama senator watana river ya kwamba leo nipige kura ama nizungumzie mswada ambao unasema mimi nisaidie watu wangu wana speaker siwezi kubaliana na wewe kabisa na ninaomba senate bunge letu hili na bunge uh, na wabunge wenzangu katika bunge la senate tuwache mambo yawe open yawe wazi ikiwa wewe unaona kwamba hutaki kufanya harambe basi usifanye harambe ikiwa wewe unaona kwamba harambe ile mtu amekufa na watu wana shida pale na unaweza kusaidia wasaidie unaweza kufanya harambe ya wagonjwa wasaidie watoto wamekwama shule basari ndio hizi mheshimiwa bwana speaker hazipatikani watoto wengine wanaambiwa mpaka uende report kwanza ndio utapata basari tafadhal kama mtu amepata nafasi na Mwenyezi Mungu amembariki hata kama ni kwa kidogo ye ni mwalimu mkuu mahali ye ni mfanyi biashara mahali ye ni dio mahali ni DC mahali ama ye ni mjumbe wa county ye ni mjumbe wa senate ye ni mjumbe wa bunge la, 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 la national assembly ama ni waziri ama ni nini kwa nini tu wafungie baraka zao sisi tunafundishwa katika biblia bwana speaker ya kwamba mtu anayetoa anabarikiwa kwa hivyo kama kuna nafasi ya kupata baraka zile za Mwenyezi Mungu kwa nini tusizipate mimi nilikuwa naomba sana bwana speaker tusipitishe sheria ambazo ziko kinyume na matwakwa ya wananchi wetu wananchi wetu kule mashambani mimi sijui hapa town Pengine hapa town watu wana pesa pengine hawataki wao kufanya maharambe lakini sisi we live with these things bwana speaker tunaishi na hizi shida na wajumbe wetu wa makaunti kule wanasema mheshimiwa nisaidie nimezidiwa sasa kama mjumbe wa kaunti anakuambia msaidie alafu unakataa mheshimiwa bwana speaker ati, tumepitisha sheria hii sheria bwana speaker wananchi hawataikubali kwa sababu wananchi ndio wanatuambia tuwasaidie na si, si kitu ya uongo uongo ama ujanja nyumba nyingi 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 wale ambao tunaenda katika kaunti zetu nyumba nyingi watu wako na shida kuna shida watu hata chakula hawana alafu umeenda kutafuta chakula huko umepigwa na nyati ama umeumwa na, 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 na mamba huko huko mtoni alafu mtu anakuambia ati, ati sasa kuna sheria inasema Huwezi kwenda kwa MCA wako umuombe msaada. Huwezi kwenda kwa MP wako umuombe msaada. Ama yule ambaye ameandikwa walimu hapo umuombe msaada. Ama yule Mheshimiwa Bwana Speaker, mimi hii sheria sioni kama itatusaidia na haisemi mambo ya wananchi. Na nataka kueleza namna hii. Bwana Speaker, kuna sheria ambazo tumepitisha hapa Kenya ambazo baadaye tumekuja kujuta. Na kuna sheria ambazo zinasukumwa na watu fulani kama NGOs. Wanasukuma sheria fulani atitufanye hivi ndivyo dunia inavyoenda na nini? 
Halafu hizo sheria hazi hazizungumzi sawa sawa na matakwa ya wananchi ambao wametuchagua hapa. Alafu baadaye kidogo unaona sheria hizo zinaanza kutupiga kule mashinani. Bwana speaker mimi nasema haina haja kuandika sheria ambayo itasema kama mtu ako na nafasi zake na mwenzake amekuja ameweka mchango hatuwezi kumsaidia. Kwa hivyo mimi bwana speaker huu mswada kama ni kuupitisha lazima ukue amended, ubadilishwe upatiane watu nafasi. Na kama kuna pingamizi lolote bwana speaker, kama kuna shida mahali ama tu, turekebishe irekebishwe. Lakini kusema ya kwamba ati senators, ati mawaziri, ati walimu, ati madio, ati madaktari ambao kwa sababu umeandikwa na ama wahandisi ama wafanyikazi wa serikali ati kwa sababu umeandikwa na serikali huwezi kuja usimame kwa 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 kwa, kwa harambe usaidie wananchi wako bwana speaker mimi sioni kama hilo ni wazo zuri na ninaomba bunge letu la senate tuangalie huu mswada jameni tu, 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 tujadili vizuri tuuelewe tusije tukapitisha sheria ambayo ukirudi nyumbani unaenda kutandikwa nayo kwa hayo mengi bwana speaker in principle mimi sikubali huu hu mswada nataka mswada ambao utatupatia nafasi wale wanaoweza kutoa watoe wapate baraka zao wale ambao hawako kwa nafasi Mungu atakuja kuwasaidia wataendelea nazo lakini kuzuia mtu bwana speaker mimi sipo hapo asante kwa nafasi hii ya kutoa uh, mawazo yangu thank you very much senator richard onyoka Dogo speaker nimesikia ndugu yangu mungatana akizungumza nikajiuliza sijui yeye ameishi nchi gani kwa sababu ndugu speaker sababu huu mswada umeletwa hapa si eti ni mswada ambao unamkataza mwananchi wa kawaida ama kiongozi yule ambaye ana hela ya kulipa ama saidie mahali kuna ugumu atoe hiyo hela Shida iliyoko huu mswada haja yake ni kuhakikisha kuwa wale ambao ni viongozi tumekuwa tukiiba rasilimali za wananchi alafu tunaenda mpaka kwa matanga ndio kuenda kuonyesha wale watu maskini kwa wewe unaweza kulipa shilingi 1200 kumzika mtu aliyefariki lakini wakati ulikuwa kiongozi haukuamka kuzungumza vile atatibiwa kwa hospitali ambako hamna madawa Sheria ambayo tunataka kubadilisha ni kutoa ufisadi kutoka kwa kusaidia watu maskini. Kwa sababu vile tunavyosaidia watu maskini, tuna pretend kuwa tunawasaidia lakini hatusuluhishi yale mashida ama zile shida ambazo nchi yetu inazo. So ndugu zangu wale mko hapa mnaweza kufanya amendment na kubali na nyinyi lakini wacha niwaambie hivi kwa sababu sisi ndiyo tumeharibu uongozi wa nchi yetu. Kwa sababu sisi ndiyo mafisadi wakubwa. Kwa sababu sisi ndiyo tumapretenda wakubwa. Barabara ni mbaya, hospitali ni mbaya, madawa hakuna hospitali, maji hayako nyumbani, alafu ukisikia mtu ana diarrhea unasema ai tumia hao jamaa watu washakufa, tutamzika ki. Ningependa kuwauliza nyinyi viongozi hapa. Huu mswada uendelee hivyo hivyo tutoe ufisadi kutoka kwa kusaidia mtu maskini ili ukitoa pesa kanisa ama ukitoa ukitoa pesa kwa mchango tumia safari kwa mna useme hiyo pesa ulitoa wapi ukaleta kunitolea wakati nimefariki kwa sababu wakati ambako nilikuwa mgonjwa hakukuwa na madawa Asante ndugu speaker Senator Boni Thank you Mr Speaker Mr. Speaker, taking over from where the Senate of Kisi has left, I want to remind colleagues that this is our baby. When we rose to respond to the disaster of the Gen C, one of the things we resolved upon in this house, in that great debate that we had never seen before, was that we had to address the displeasure by the young people on how 
we spend all our time showing off opulence. Choppers. Vehicles that cost over 51 million shillings. And the youth, because they are better educated than what our generation was at their time, they are able to relate your income to what you contribute in Harambe. So we said, let us regulate this. The intention of this bill, and I want to urge colleagues, let us read it. The intention is not to abolish Harambe's. The intention is to sanitize. The intention is to make it decent. The intention is to make sure that we don't hide in Harambe's to practice corruption. How can you accept the fact that you are taking your ill-gotten money to a funeral of a mass accident like the one we had in Ekolomani at Iku, River Lukose? You take that, those millions and yet the reasons why the accident took place is the bad state of the roads. If you had a dual carriage from Nairobi to Kakamega to Busia and Uganda, the accidents that, were take, that take place on these roads would be cut by over 80%. So, Senator Mungatana, thank you very much for your passion. But the point is, don't give us money which you have stolen, which would have fixed the roads, and those bad roads have caused us to die. Don't bring us that money. Allow the police to come after you so that you can be brought to order. What is your point of order, Senator Mungatana? Did you Yes, Mr. Speaker. Did you hear the senator from Kakamega, my very good honorable friend, say that they don't bring us the money that you have stolen? Mr. Speaker, is it a presumption that every person who actually, out of his good heart, or out of the problem that is there, and, and I'm speaking from about my county, Mr. Speaker. I don't know, Kakamega, maybe they are rich, Mr. Speaker. People are dying of hunger. If you get something and you want to help, is it a presumption, Mr. Speaker, that the people who are helping, the teachers, the doctors, the poor prosperous farmers are thieves? Mr. Speaker, can Mr. Kalwale, Honorable Kalwale, my very good friend, please, Stop playing to the gallery and address the issues. I don't think that is a correct statement, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Mungatana, I don't think uh, the Honorable Senator for Kakamega meant uh, what you've just said. Indeed, if you remember during the debate on the state of the nation, none other than Honorable Senators were of the view and that was after listening to the general public that there could be there could be dirty money that gets its way into the Harambees. And therefore, it's important to bring transparency in the Harambees. It's decent to bring some accountability in the way we do these Harambees. And out of that concern, that the House had. And in fact, this House went to resolve certain uh, actions to be taken. One of them is basically to legislate and bring uh, sanity in the Harambe uh, space. So yes, you, there's, there's that general perception. And not everybody who contributes in Harambe is a thief. But as you know, if I may use uh, a Kiswahili saying, uh, samaki moja kioza, 
bahari mzima imeoza so this particular piece of legislation is to is to address that particular one thief and leave their thousand wonderful people but at least that particular one person who we are not sure of how they, their, their sources of um, you know these funds the fund do not make its way into the uh, hands of the public that's why this law is 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 is, uh, uh, is proposed but i do not think the honorable senator for kakamega uh, had an ill motive by saying that uh, some of this money that would have otherwise fixed a road ended up in the wrong hands and it is that money that is coming at the tail end to bury uh, victims of that very bad road, which bad road came as a result of the money that had been maybe stolen. So it is that space that we are trying to clean up. There are good people who will bring their hard-earned money, and that those questionable um, amounts that still find the way. So to clean up, to make sure that we have good money in this Harambe ecosystem, the proposed law is just to sanitize that space. Senator Boni. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wouldn't have put it better. And I truly want to thank you. This bill is not a joke. Mr. Speaker, there is still money meant for drugs in hospital and thanks to that shortage patients die and they come to bury us mr speaker there is still money meant to fix our roads mr speaker they go ahead and buy four-wheel drives that can avoid potholes and buy choppers and courtesy of those bad roads, when we die, they come to show us we don't want that money. Mr. Speaker in Tana River, I have had the choice and pleasure for six years to practice medicine in the coast province. And I know what poverty has done, not just in Western, but in coast. So, Mr. Speaker, there is still money meant to improve the productivity of the lands in cost so that they allow the people of Tana River to come to them through Harambe's begging for food. Mr. Speaker, through this law, we don't want that kind of money. And Mr. Speaker, this law has been very well thought, thought through. When you read through, Mr. Speaker, it is not casual. Let me respond, for example, to the concerns in this bill of the Senator of Tana River. We have part Roman 3, which speaks to fundraising appeals. And they say, Mr. Speaker, in Clause 8, that the provision of this part shall not apply to a private fundraising appeal where the solicitation is made from members of the, for beneficiaries of the nuclear family or relatives and does not extend to members of the public. Clearly, this bill is going to allow us to sit as a family in Malinya, a family in Idaho, and do our fundraising. What they are against is public fundraising. And the law has gone further, Mr. Speaker, in Clause 9, has created distinction between public and private fundraising. It is the public fundraising that we want to control. I therefore, Mr. Speaker, wish to appeal to colleagues, let's go through this proposal with a tooth comb so that we can refine it for it to be better. Are you saying this thing is a joke? When you saw a few days ago, none other than the Catholic bishops 
of Kenya speak to this issue. And in fact, Mr. Speaker, in unprecedented action, Archbishop Anyolo, who for the information of this house is a man born from Shinyalu, and he's the Archbishop here in Nairobi, Philip Anyolo has done the unthinkable. He has returned money to politicians. So when you say we are doing something that does not appeal to the public, knowing that Catholics control over 50% of the Christians in this country, knowing that the Catholics have permeated all our villages and they could possibly be the voice of the poor who we pretend to be assisting when actually thieves are using that opportunity to sanitize money that they have stolen from our coffers. We must address it so that on Sunday